very noisy. <laughs> Sorry, that was legitimately. Zip it, both of you. <laughs> that was legitimately a complete accident. Okay. All right, scientists. Today we're going to read a book called Wild, Wild Wolves. On a summer night in the far north, a wolf is howling. Ow! One by one, all the wolves for miles around throw back their heads and join in. Ow, 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 ow. Miles away, a family camping near a big lake hears the howls. The children grab their parents' hand. Nothing sounds as wild and scary as a wolf howling. Did you just hear my wolf howling? Oh, the dog grooming. Do wolves howl just before they attack? No. To a wolf, a howl is a friendly sound. Wolves howl to let other wolves know where they are. They even may even howl just for fun. Sometimes a pet dog throws its head back and howls. It sounds just like a wolf. That because is because and dogs are close relatives. My dog always howls when there's an ambulance or a fire truck with their sirens on. That's the only time he ever howls. Long, long ago, when people lived in caves, some wolves began to wait nearby for the scraps of meat that people threw away. Cave children played with the wolf pups. Little by little, the wolves became tame. These tame wolves were the first pets. Every dog on earth today from the tiny toy poodles to big St. Bernard is related to them. A few people still try to tame wolves. Eskimos have trained them to pull dog sleds. But a wolf is not a house pet. To be happy, it must be wild and A wolf's long legs are made for running up to 40 miles in a single day. Its huge paws can be as large as a grown man's hand. Its powerful jaws can even crack the leg bone of a moose in a single snap. Wolves are hunters. To stay alive, they need fresh meat, lots of it. A wolf can eat 20 pounds of meat in a single meal. That's a lot of meat. That's like eating 100 hamburgers. To get all this meat, wolves usually hunt big animals like deer and moose, but a hungry wolf can chase and eat a rabbit or a mouse. It may even go fishing. Wolves live in groups called packs. They packs members talk to each other with their bodies. When a wolf is scared, it holds its ears close to its head. When a wolf is happy, it wags its whole tail. It, if it wags just the tip, watch out. It's getting ready to attack. Other wolves know these signals. The signals help the wolf live together without fighting. Every pack has a lead meal, male and a lead female. The lead male is strong and smart. He will fight any wolf that tries to take over his pack. The lead female is usually the mother of the pack's cubs. Looks like they're having an argument right now. The lead male shows he is boss by the way he acts. He looks other wolves right in the eye. The other wolves tuck their tails between their legs. They rub noses with the leader and lick his face. In the spring, the lead female gets ready to have pups. She digs a den in the side of a hill. The other wolves help her. The pups are born in early May. Their eyes are closed. They cannot see or hear. They live by drinking their mother's milk. In three weeks, the pups are big enough to leave the den. At first they are afraid, but soon they're racing up and down the hill, playing tag. One pup sees a grasshopper. She pounces. Swoosh! But the grasshopper gets away. The pup looks surprised. She tries again and again. This is the little wolf's first lesson in hunting. The adult wolves take turn babysitting. 
while the father guards the pups that they tug on his tail and nip at his ears. They're too rough, but he just gets up and walks away. The pups roll around, pretending to fight one of them is stronger than his sisters and brothers. She holds her tail high. She is already acting like the lead wolf. The pups are hungry all the time. When the older wolves go hunting, they chew extra food and swallow it. Back at the den, they spit up the chewed food and the hungry pups get their first taste of meat. By September, the pups are half grown. They spend hours chasing mice, but they don't catch any. They are too slow and clumsy, but soon the pups will be hunting along with the pack. In six months, they'll be good hunters. One cold November morning, the wolf smells mo moose nearby. The pack moves out in a single file across the snow. The wolves chase many moose. Most of them run away, but one big moose stands and fights. It kicks out with its powerful hooves. An angry moose can kill a wolf. Soon, the pack leaves it alone. Good choice. I think moose are just as scary as wolves are. Finally, the wolves find an old sick moose. It's too weak to run or fight. The pack fans out in a circle. One wolf charges. It bites the moose's nose and hangs on tight. In minutes, the fight is over. The wolves, hungry wolves can eat. A wolf hunting alone might never catch a large animal. Hunting in packs helps the wolves to survive. Many people have never seen a live wolf. The only wolves they meet are in fairy tales and horror movies. Fairy tale wolves are greedy and dangerous. The scariest of all make-believe wolves is the werewolf. By day, the werewolf is an ordinary man or woman. But at night, when the moon is full, the werewolf's teeth become long and sharp. Hair grows on its face. It runs on all fours, just like a real wolf. The werewolf roams the moonlight forest and attacks anyone it meets. Legend about killer wolves made many people believe that wolves were their enemies. For a long time, hunters shot every wolf they could find. They even shot wolves from airplanes. That doesn't sound like a fair fight. At last, some scientists began to wonder if wolves were really so dangerous. They went deep into the forest to study how wolves live. One scientist was walking in the forest when he met two wolves by accident. One wolf ran away. The other walked right up to him. The scientist was scared, but the wolf just licked his face and trotted away. The scientist learned that healthy wolves do not attack people, but when wolves wander onto farms, they soon learn that a lamb or a calf makes a good dinner. Some farmers use sheepdogs to scare away wolves. Some kill wolves with poison, traps, or guns. The American Indians did not fear wolves. They admired the way the wolves lived in peace together. The Sioux Indians told us the story of a woman who got lost in a snowstorm. A wolf pack saved her life. They brought her food. They let her sleep in their den. They taught her their secrets. When the woman went back to her own people, she taught them the secrets of the wolves. She became a powerful magician. A few hundred years ago, wolves lived all around the world. Thousands of wolves lived in North America. So the areas in red and black show where wolves once roamed. Areas in black show where the wolves are found today. Today, there are many more people and fewer wolves. In most of the United States, there are no wolves left, except in zoos. Wolves don't cause pollution. They live without hurting the land. The pack hunts to survive. There are always moose and deer left to have next spring's babies. Today, people are trying to live in tune with nature 
as wolves do. They want to save some of the wild places left on earth. If that happens, there will be wild, wild wolves howling in the forest for years to come. The end. Something funny that just happened. Uh, so there's this fallen over tree with some 